and that um, I learned to play this style of a song called Freight Train. And uh, it's a beautiful song. It's written by uh, Elizabeth Cotton, Libby Cotton, mm -hmm. who's uh, a lady from the United States who, I'm not sure whether she's still alive, I hope she is. Uh, she plays left-handed and upside down. And um, she wrote this, this beautiful melody for a song called Freight Train. And um, so the melody goes like this. So you'll notice with this song that the melody all fits into the chords. So you got Okay. So <clears throat> you then practice each section going playing the boom chick bass and then bringing the melody in. And this is the tricky part. So Uh, I'll, I'll just play that one more time for you, a bit slower. Here we go. One, two, three. Now this style is, is um, it's pretty flexible, like you can use the style to create pretty much any song you want. You can, you can pick any tune and, and, and make a bit of an arrangement once you understand this style and how it works. Um, there's, there's another song I'd just like to show you that will also get you started on this style. And it's a very simple song called Trambone, which I, I heard many years ago. Uh, on an early Chet Atkins album and um, he actually played it with a whammy bar and, and, and did a lot of bending and it was, it was really interesting. But uh, for the purposes of, of helping you develop this style, uh, I'll show the tune to you in, in its uh, simplest form. I'll just play it one time round for you and then, then I'll slow it down. Here we go. <laughs> So, I'll just break that up for you, it's, it's... You know, you, you, you will notice that I use my thumb a lot, and uh, to play this style and to get a lot of the chords in, it's the only way that you can actually do it. Um, Merle, Merle Travis, who was kind of the, uh, the forefather of this style, um, he played in most things with his thumb. In fact, he had a thumb that sort of, he could play a chord up here and move the bass along with his thumb. It was in, in, incredible to watch. Um, and uh, Chet Atkins, of course, took the style to another level. Um, although I think that the Chet Atkins style and the Mill Travis style are very different in their own way. It's, it's a fascinating thing. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll, I'll now play um, a trombone for you nice and slowly so you can pick it up. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three.
Um, I, I'd now like to play um, uh, Windy and Warm for you. And uh, this also is one of the first songs that I learned to play. And it, it's, a, it's a traditional piece that uh, a lot of people have recorded. Many folk sort of players play like that. <laughs> it as more of a folk tune. I, I tend to think of it as more like a, a bluesy tune and so I, I tend not to play it too fast and um, <clears throat> kind of let the melody really sing out so I mute the bass um, to get that boom chick happening underneath and then I poke the melody out with my fingers. As you, um, as you follow this video you'll, you, you'll notice that I pick a lot of the melody out with my second and first and second fingers. Um, I might also say at this stage that um, this style of guitar playing, you, you can use your nails, most people do, um, but I, I unfortunately uh, have very thin nails on the right hand and I have nails of steel on the left hand. I, I don't know what went wrong, uh, I don't know what went wrong up there, but uh, something went a bit skew with, but uh, anyway, so I. I, I've developed these little calluses on the end of my fingers and so that's how I get that tone. It, it's a cross between a pick sound and a, and a nail sound. It's sort of somewhere in, in between. So um, that's how I, I play the sound. and. Um, uh, you can use nails if you want. Um, it's just it's pretty hard on your nails playing steel string guitar. If you if you uh, if you do use nails, it might be good to reinforce them with uh, something like uh, super glue or araldite or any of, the, uh, of those other kind of Tarzan brand things. You know, you stick on your nails. Okay, here we go. This is windy and warm.